ugh, so hard. Math is difficult, and I'm not the only one. According to a 2019 study by the National Center of Education Statistics reported that only 41% of fourth graders and only 34% of eighth graders were proficient in math. But why are we so behind in math? In American classrooms, there's a lot of emphasis on the steps. Teachers will teach you the steps for how to solve a problem, and students start trying to memorize those steps. So I think what happens is we turn math into an exercise in memorizing steps. You know, a lot of good students get very good at answering the problems that are in the book, but they can't apply their knowledge to other problems, and they tend to forget those steps the further they get from their math course. I decided to do math because I was good at it in school, so I was like, might as well do it, and then I realized that it's a little bit different when you get to college. It's more challenging, and I think that's something Math Circle tries to do um, to help you realize that, you know, math is different. It's not just computational stuff. The UC Davis Math Circle and Junior Math Circle are programs that teach kids how to think about math as a problem to be solved instead of just a list of steps to remember. Math Circle it challenges me to do different things that I don't do in regular math, like thinking out of the box or using strategies to get the answer I want instead of using a formula. It was pretty hard because I kept on getting stuck in making mistakes. Math is a sort of training of you think analytically and how to think about problem, not just calculation. So this is what I see the main point of having her attending um, Junior Math Circle because you can see different kinds of problems. It's not just about calculation. Even though Math Circle can greatly benefit students, many students struggle in the beginning. She couldn't understand, she could not, she didn't know all the answers. And we talked about it, and this is supposed to be fun, something for her to explore more about math. And that was what she really wanted to do. So um, the second week, same way, she did not want to go. In the beginning, he felt it was very hard and he doesn't want to go. And in class, I think he did not participate. And when he come out, he just want to go home. I feel like I'm just going to explode, and I'm rolling on the floor, and I'm lying down, and I feel like I can't do anything. Kind of overwhelming, because there were a lot of people, and I didn't, and I like, didn't really like, know that many stuff. In the first class, as soon as I came in, I saw her after class and I asked her how was it, she started crying. It was so hard for her. And she was sure she's the only person in class that doesn't know anything. And that she's the only one who couldn't answer any of the, of the answers of the question. And she just said, I don't want to go there ever again. And then we came back a week after a week. Um, when it was getting close to um, toward the end of the session, one day, when I picked it up, she said, Wow, oh, Mommy, I could answer the question. And I raised up my hand and answered it. She was so excited. So after that, we decided to continue. We do the problems together at home. And then starting about one year later, Daniel started to want to do the problem. And recently, to my surprise, he asked me, Can we do math circle problems? And I told him, We already finished this week's homework. And he was like, aww. In first year, they were shy. They were, almost didn't participate in anything. And you could not recognize them in the second year. Suddenly, they start flourishing, OK? When it gets into them, just uh, drop by drop, then the tower builds. And finally, in four years, you see completely different people. So there's also a concept in psychology called desirable difficulty. 
turns out making things harder means you actually learn them more deeply. Things that you learn and you experience as very easy, often you won't remember them for very long. Things that you experience as really hard, um, you may not think you learned a lot, but then later it turns out those are the things that you retain. The struggle that comes with Math Circle is what makes it so beneficial to its students. But what creates this struggle? But you just don't know where to start and you have to either keep trying it or you can find some other way to do what, to get the answer you need. What makes this program so special is because these problems usually aren't really asked because they're really complicated. But I never really experienced it before, so it was new to me and new things are hard because you don't know what like you don't know how to do things. One of these new problems presented around Halloween was hard and frustrating to many students. Ghost plus ghost equals house. G um was a number H O S T. They were all different numbers and you had to find out what all the numbers were. They really stretch beyond what, what you really see in the classroom setting. So in those settings, um, problems are new and they can be hard. So exposing kids to um, these more interesting problems can um, stimulate their problem solving skills and um, help them to um, formulate new ideas that they may have not seen before. The problem earlier which had like an equilateral triangle and a hexagon. How do you find the area of the hexagon? So this kid just drew a picture of it and he just said, yeah, it's just six, like by the given data. And we didn't have to use any formula to do that. That helped me like, gain new perspective that you don't need to like, have the formula all the time. You can just see the picture and do it. Math isn't just a list of steps to be memorized or a series of formulas to follow. You don't need to be a math person to understand how math works. Programs like Math Circle can help students to understand the concepts behind what they're learning instead of just memorizing formulas and help them become more proficient in math.